So how can you kind of capture that lightning in a bottle that Mark is among your own organization and transfer that to how do you articulate what you do to employees and employers for workplace giving? And that's part of what our job is, is to help you, enable you to do that. Part of it is by showing the passion of, of an organization, the pathway they've taken there. But now what we're going to talk about with our esteemed staff here, led by Jim Starr, who is our COO and Chief Business Development Officer, Robin Neal, our Vice President of Client Engagement Solutions, Roseanne Wark, our Outreach and Engagement Manager, Lindsay Nichols, our VP of Marketing and Communications, Sarah Ford, our Marketing Manager, Marketing Communications, and Emily Bern Bernhards, our Project Manager for Client Solutions, are going to talk about opportunities for raising your visibility and amping up your donor engagement. So, take it away. All right, thank you. I'm Robin okay. Neal, and I am the Vice President of our Client Engagement Solutions team at America's Charities. And um, this is the team that works to oversee our relationships with our clients, both our nonprofit clients as well as our employer clients. I am, um, on behalf of the team here, I want to say thank you for being here today. I, wanna, I also want to say thank you to the people who I, I got to talk with a little earlier um, during lunch and, and during the breaks who referenced the conversation that we had this morning, the great discussion that we had today regarding the combined federal campaign. So, so thank, I, your feedback is, is very valued. So I want to talk a little bit more um, just briefly about, about the CFC. Um, the discussion this morning was fantastic. Um, we are in a year where there is an upcoming rule change and sometimes change is scary. Um, I think the, the team that was on the panel today, um, OPM, and campaign leaders, such as a campaign leader, Rama, and Steve and Jeff, really demonstrated the commitment that everybody has to really the continued success of the combined federal campaign. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the team here. And, and I think the word that comes to mind when it comes to the CFC is passion. You know, it's evidenced by, by Steve and, and by Jeff. And, me. Um, I, I don't know. I've had the pleasure of talking with some of you about the combined federal campaign, and uh, I think you will find about maybe three hours into the conversation with me about the combined federal campaign, the passion's evident. Um, the, the, rest, the rest of the team here shares that passion. You know, we are committed to providing you with consult and best practices to ensure your success in the CFC. That includes getting you into the campaign advocacy, as Steve referenced earlier, when the rule change was published in the Federal Register, we are currently advocating on your behalf as the final rule goes into its final implementation. We also are working with you to maximize your participation and your success in the CFC, and, and that's you know what, what Mark referenced about, about the work the team here is doing and, and his man, Jeff Brown, over there. Um, so the CFC is a vital, vital source of revenue for you all. It, is, it generates unrestricted funds of $177 million to 25,000 charities. That's huge. That, 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 that is without a doubt huge. And we are, we are here and, and we are committed to ensuring that this continues. However, I, we are also mindful that there are other avenues to for unrestricted funding. And we are working very diligently to diversify the funding that your organization will receive by virtue of your membership of America's Charities. So um, there, I just wanted to share my passion about the CFC, really. You'll hear more from me later. Um, but I want to turn it over to Jim Starr, who is our Chief Operating Officer and Chief Business Development Officer, to talk a little bit more about the, how we're working to diversify revenues for your organizations. Thank you, Robin. I'm going to stand. Um, and uh, I know there's a lot of words to my title. Steve, could I have a few more? I don't think I have enough there. Yeah. <laughs> so um, let me first ask you guys a qu question. Um, show of hands. Um, how many of you are basically one-person shops for workplace giving? OK, I see a little half hands. How about half a person? You probably do other jobs as well, <laughs> right? Probably more hands there. Um, well, I want to tell you that um, you're not alone. Um, the folks up here on the stage, over on the table, and back in our offices, 
uh, at Chantilly, Virginia are part of your team. Um, we are here to support you, uh, and you really should look at us as being your support network for maximizing uh, your results in workplace giving, not only just in a workplace giving uh, forum, but also finding ways to leverage those opportunities to even broaden, uh, broaden your philanthropy. And so I want to just share a couple of things that have been taking place at America's Charities that represent uh, our focus on you, uh, on our members. Uh, one is, in the past year, we've reorganized ourselves, um, and we've realigned um, how we're structured so that we can actually better serve our mission, which is to serve your missions. Uh, and one of the things that we've done is we've created uh, account teams. So every single one of our members uh, has an account manager that has a team that sits behind them to make sure that we're addressing your needs, that we're answering your questions, that we're bringing you best practices, that we're hopefully doing everything possible uh, to make you as successful as you can be uh, in CFC efforts, state and local public sector campaigns, and private sector workplace giving campaigns uh, as well. Uh, and so um, you, Jeff is Jeff, Roseanne, uh, Emily, Jennifer, um, and there's you know, just a few of our account managers that should be working and are working very closely with you. Um, but they're not the only ones. They're not the only members of your team. Um, there are other folks uh, at America's Charities that are supporting them and supporting you across all the different functions uh, of our organization. One of the other things that we've put a huge emphasis on uh, is growing, um, growing our business or growing our revenue streams, which essentially translates to growing and diversifying your revenue streams. Uh, and so we um, have been placing an increasing emphasis on private sector fundraising uh, and private sector workplace giving. As you saw on the slide this morning, the CFC results uh, have not been pointing in the right direction the past few years. Uh, hopefully that'll hit a point and we'll start trending back the way that we'd like to see it. Um, but regardless of that, um, private sector workplace giving is growing. Uh, I believe it represents about four billion, that's with a B, dollars. Uh, and so there's incredible opportunity um, for charitable organizations to participate uh, in that. And so uh, we're doing a variety of things to maximize and grow your exposure in private sector workplace giving campaigns. Uh, a significant piece of our effort uh, in that, and it's um, um, a little bit distinct from other groups, is that we actually manage private sector workplace giving campaigns. Actually, public sector workplace giving campaigns as well. Um, so we're installing a technology platform, uh, and then we are working with that organization to make their effort as successful as, as it can be. Now, in the private sector, that gives us some unique opportunities for our members. Since we're now having the conversations with the people that make the decisions about the structure and nature of their workplace giving campaigns and how it ties to their corporate philanthropic goals or their business goals, we have an opportunity, knowing our members and the causes they support, to align our members in those campaigns with those corporations' goals. Uh, and so it gives us this unique ability to position you all um, with those corporate employees um, because we're in, that, we're, in that, we're in that space. We're in the decision maker's office helping them articulate how they'd like to frame out their workplace giving campaign. Uh, in addition, the other things that we can do, because there are some companies who are completely agnostic about what charity their company supports or who their employees support, it gives us the opportunity to actually highlight and provide increased visibility for our members uh, on their workplace giving site uh, as well. And because of those efforts, we've been able to uh, raise five to ten times more donations for our members than in the workplace giving campaigns that we don't manage, a statistic that I believe Marsha referenced this morning. So um, those are some of the things that we're trying to, trying to do. Today, um, we have about 40 private sector workplace giving campaigns that bring you exposure to 250,000 uh, employees. Uh, we are working uh, ferociously to grow that. Uh, we've added four additional um, clients uh, this year, representing uh, over 31,000 
uh, employees, and we have got a lot in the hopper, as they say, in terms of um, growing that business even further. We do have, um, as Kim Young, our Vice President for Business Development knows, um, and Marsha and Steve, our Chair and CEO, know we have very aggressive goals to grow the number of corporations uh, that we are working with in this workplace giving sector. Um, and so, again, we think that that is an area where we can grow phenomenally uh, in support of you. It's not just around finding ways to increase the donations um, that, that you receive. Although I spent um, quite a bit of my career in the nonprofit sector, and I know the most valuable thing that you can usually provide a nonprofit, or if you ask them, they're going to tell you uh, a check would be nice. Um, but there are other ways to support nonprofits, as Mark just uh, um, described, in terms of uh, volunteers. And so the workplace giving platform that we have has a very robust volunteer component. Uh, providing network opportunities. Mark talked about the ripple effect. One of the other aspects of our platform is a crowdfunding um, aspect to it. So employees can conduct their own campaigns on behalf of charities that they support. And they can use the portal to generate and manage those fundraising dollars through that. It's got a social media aspect to it also that allows them to communicate what they're doing and who they're supporting. Uh, and in fact, Roseanne's going to give us a little bit of uh, um, some deeper insight into some of that functionality that we're trying to place in more and more companies on the behalf of our members. Uh, and, and so we are in this business not to be in that business. We're in this business for you. Um, for our members. It provides us an opportunity to help diversify your revenue sources, particularly as we're seeing the latest trends of the CFC going down, private sector going up. Now, make no mistake, 100 and, almost $180 million is a lot of money, um, so it's still significant, but we believe there's also great opportunity in that private sector uh, as well. So we're doing that with a new technology partner that um, hopefully all of you have heard uh, about. We've tried to promote it to you um, and to the general public as well, but we've partnered with an organization called, called CauseCast. Um, and CauseCast is a, um, at their core, it's a, it's a technology company that's developed uh, this incredible, robust, feature-rich, we think market-leading, workplace-giving, and volunteer uh, platform. Uh, and what we like about this company or about CauseCast and why we're partnering so closely with them is that they truly understand you, the nonprofits. Uh, and the founder um, and owner um, of CauseCast is deeply committed to uh, enabling nonprofits to be more successful. He's got a unique focus uh, on that. So he's not in the business uh, just to make money. He's in the business to make a difference and make an impact. And that was something that appealed greatly to us. Uh, it also has given us the opportunity <clears throat> to do things that we can't do uh, with other companies. Um, all of you are in the process of being what we call badged on the platform so that you stand out, um, being grouped um, as America's Charities. And so if uh, a company would just like to offer a defined group of charities to their employees. They can just click the America's Charities group and poof, it's just you guys that are listed on the platform. Uh, we're able to, as I said earlier, provide additional content and things of that nature. Uh, we can help you ensure that if you have volunteer opportunities, that they're getting posted into that site as well as onto other platforms as well. But we're, we're incredibly excited to be uh, partnering uh, with CauseCast as our technology platform. Uh, for workplace giving, and um, I'm going to turn it over to Roseanne, who's going to um, give you a little bit more insight into the um, functionality of the platform and, you know, kind of what you would look like and how you're going to be positioned uh, on that. So, Roseanne. Oh, thanks, Jim. I was asked to sit here today and, and give you a little more insight into the new technology platform. And the reason is, is because I've been spending the la last year of my life <laughs> living and breathing this new technology platform and learning everything that I can about it so that we can deploy it in uh, clients, our transitioning clients and new clients. Um, some of you may remember Pledge First. We are retiring it. After 14 years, since 2002, Pledge First has been our technology platform. But now I think we have found a technology platform that is going to really propel us forward. And that is America's Charities Powered by CauseCast. Um, 
this, this new platform is going to open up a lot of doors for us that maybe Pledge First wasn't able to do. Um, it's going to give employees more ways to give, more ways to search, more ways to learn about each and every one of you. When an employee logs in, as you can see in the screenshot we put here, what you're seeing here is a typical dashboard that an employee would log into. And what they're going to see is something that can be completely customized for them and even by the administrator at the company. They're going to find news and announcements, frequently asked questions, campaigns that they may have adopted. There's even a component of this system that loads all of all the data of giving and gives you one little widget right on the front page so that right away when you log in, you're going to know what is the impact that my company has made so far in volunteerism, in giving. And there's a social media aspect to that as well within, within the company. So you can share your successes with your, with your fellow employees. Um, in a moment, I'll share a couple of those features with you. But first, I do want to show you what is probably first and foremost to everybody is how the heck does the employee give? Let's get that money flowing. What you can see here from this screenshot is every single platform that's deployed in a client has a give button. Now, companies may have different methods for their employees to be giving their money, whether that be payroll, check, or credit card. And cause, America's Charity is powered by Causecast actually includes a PayPal as well. So we're adding even more ways to give. But right here, uh, an employee can go in, click Give. You can search a nonprofit. Um, and it's very easy from those left navigation buttons that you see. You know, this, this new platform is really going to encourage a lot of what we've been talking about today is this year-round giving, uh, launching programs at different parts of the year, even um, you know, supporting different causes and, and different, uh, you know, maybe your disaster relief campaigns. This new platform is very well suited to working that year round. And um, there's going to be so many different ways for you to be involved and for the employees to be in touch with you and, and encourage all of that year round engagement. It's not all, it's not all about giving. It's about that engagement. And that's sort of been the, the theme throughout today, is keeping employees engaged. Of course, we, do, we are going to encourage a fall push and, and in the traditional sense. But we, will, we want employees to be engaged throughout the year. Um, there, are, there are several methods here that, that I'm going to highlight for you, just some of the cooler aspects of the, uh, of the site, and adopting a campaign and fundraising. So what you might ask what adopting a campaign is. And the word campaign is used differently when we're talking about the, the platform here. Campaigns are going to reside within a, a company's program. And you're going to be able, well, companies are going to be, be able to easily adopt these campaigns in whatever changing environment they have, whether that's a disaster relief or a, a type of uh, internal campaign that they want to uh, encourage their employees to give to. It's going to be sort of an out-of-the-box out of, out of kind of thing where the administrator can simply click on a button, adopt the campaign, and it pushes out to everybody on the platform, every employee in their company. And this is, these campaigns are, going to, are done. There's nothing that an administrator has to do but click that button to do it. And um, it's going to make reaction time for disaster relief very easy, very quick. You're going to be able to, they're going to be able to act upon it very quickly. So you might ask, say, what, how does this affect me as a member of America's Charities? Well, what we will do as a team is put together these campaigns based on information that you provide us. And uh, we'll work together with the client engagement teams, with the marketing teams, to get these campaigns ready and in the library so that administrators on the campaign side can easily adopt it and, once again, 
move quickly to adopt campaigns. Another pretty cool feature that uh, Jim alluded to was the crowdfunding, or what we, we're, we the, what the site calls fundraising. And that's, that is just a way that a company may adopt a fundraiser, such as Giving Tuesday. And they can deploy that out to their employees, and then individual employees can set up their own individual fundraising based on that. And what's, what's really super cool, I'm geeking out here. What's super cool is that those employees then can share that, their own individual fundraiser out across social media platforms like, oh, Facebook and Google Plus and Twitter and the good old email address. But they can, they can send that out to people who don't even work in the company. And it creates a unique link for then that person to participate in the campaign. So that just raises the bottom line incredibly. Um, and that's, that was, that's the es essence of the crowdfunding that we're talking about. Let's see. Now, there's going to be ways to get volunteers as well. Um, there is a volunteer button right here on, uh, you know, on the site. So as, when, let me back up a second. I can give you a, I can show you this live after we're done. I have, I have my uh, laptop here. But th there are menu buttons down the left-hand side, so there's a volunteer button as well. So um, what happens is you can, you'll be able to create uh, volunteer opportunities that can then populate into this platform. And that's going to be really cool, and I think uh, Robin will touch on that in a moment. Um, there's because there's a separate portal that we'll ask you to take a look at and that we will do work for you in that um, but there are other uh, there are other ways to get volunteers there's these companies can adopt dollars for doers they can do in-kind gifts volunteer match can even be integrated right into the platform so it's it's just got a lot of a lot of great things once again I geek out all the time Here's an example of what a typical volunteer opportunity would look like for the end user on the platform. It's creating a volunteer opportunity for the administrator is really going to be very easy. And it prompts them to put in times, um, waivers, t-shirt size, I mean, anything that you can ever imagine that a, volu that a volunteer opportunity would include, this system has asked for it. As volunteers sign up, they can even share pictures afterward. They can check in, save pictures, share it out between, uh, within the platform, all the users, and um, you know, show off all the good that they've done. So I think, I think that's just a really, really great, I love the platform. I've been, like I said, best year, I've been learning everything that I can about it and deploying it out. So as, you know, kind of to summarize, you can see that there are plenty of ways to get your story out there. And you just have to be in touch with us and continue to share your impact with us. And then that is going to then translate back out onto this new platform. And I'll, what I'm going to do is let me segue to Robin to let her tell you a little bit more about how that's all going to happen. Thanks, Roseanne. Now it's my time to geek out. <laughs> I appreciate it. So Roseanne talked about the, the multiple ways that you know, companies and their employees can engage with nonprofits. And Roseanne also asked a question earlier, well, what does that mean for you? How does that impact me? If it does impact me, what is America's Charities doing on my behalf? What do I need to do? So we have so many questions. So I'm going to begin um, to try to answer them. Um, first of all, I want to go back to the impact on you. Um, as we had stated earlier, this, this technology platform and all it can do to facilitate employee engagement plus everything that America's Charities does when managing these campaigns is just the end result is to facilitate giving which will bring money back to you. Um, you are also included in an additional 30 corporate accounts through our relationship with CauseCast. Um, what Roseanne was demonstrating was really from the perspective of the employee donor and the campaign administrators and, and what they see and how they, would implement, how they would utilize this technology. Well, there is a corresponding site where nonprofits can go to really 
provide information which will impact what these employee donors see um, to put their best foot forward. And that site is, thank you, CauseCast for Nonprofits. And what, by virtue of your membership with America's Charities, the team here is working to complete the, your member profile on CauseCast for Nonprofits. Um, the information that you can see on the screen right now, um, what we would be providing would be your logo, um, your mission statement, your website, your cause areas. I know the team here is working in partnership with the team at CauseCast to bolster this even further to provide meatier content. So that, that's a work in progress and more, and more to come in that space. Um, what we also can do, and, and I just want to say a, a little bit about this, um, we will be working to populate your profile. We are currently doing that. This is completely voluntary, so you know we're doing the work for you, but if, if you have any concerns or want to talk about it further or don't want to do that, please, please know that we're, we're here to talk it through and talk to you about it. Um, once it is also, once your profile is complete, you will be provided with access to your profile. So you can take a look and you can say, okay, you know, this, this, this looks pretty good or you might want to make some changes. It's really your call or you might, or, and this is where, you know, you can let us provide volunteer opportunities and upload it for you or you can provide volunteer opportunities. It's, it's, it's really a, a collaborative effort here but between, between you and, and the team at America's Charities. Um, so that's what we're doing. As Jim referenced, we're also working to badge our member, member organizations on CauseCast, so some more to come on that. I want to go back a little bit to campaigns, and um, I know Roseanne had, had talked about the campaign library and how these employers can have these ready-made campaigns. That's another thing that we are doing, is we are working, we're at, we're, we have a seat at the table and, and are providing suggestions and suggested campaigns which will be featuring our members. Um, I, I did get permission to sh give a shout out to this member. Um, Next week, next Friday, is Bike to Work Day, and there is a campaign that is in the campaign library on America's Charities powered by CauseCast, which is featuring our member organization, Rails to Trails Conservancy, who is here today. Debbie, thank you. Um, so so we're, also, we're also doing, doing that. Um, let's see. We are also, sorry about that. Let's see. So, and... Just, oh, this is my closing. I'm sorry, I messed that up. <laughs> so um, <laughs> so we're, we'll, be, we'll be working and, and we'll be providing updates in the, in the near future um, when we have them. Um, we're very, very happy to be working to bolster your profile on CauseCast for nonprofits, which will then in turn be demonstrated on America's Charities powered by CauseCast. Thank you. Did anybody have any questions? about the crowdfunding so it's it's individual pl an individual platform right it's DIY yes okay yes. okay got it got it there's no team functionality well, there to is it a is team. there what happens is the company would create a team fundraiser and then individuals would then create fundraisers from that based on the team okay so it sort of like goes from campaign to team fundraiser to individual fundraiser and then the individual fundraisers you know, project that out to all their contacts via social media. Great. And it all, and it all kind of goes, I'm, you know, I'm Italian, I talk in my hands. It all goes back up the funnel. Okay. Sorry, but watch out. You get Looking it forward to that demo. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, and interesting that you're able to track in kind too. That, that's well, in-kind giving is a little different, and that's not part of crowdfunding. That is right, a different. Right, that's a sure. different. But yes, they can. Tra that is a different module in the platform. Mm -hmm. But it is tracked. Yes, yeah, that's exciting. Mm -hmm. And there are drives too. You can create a campaign that's a say it's a food drive and indicate what in particular items you need to collect. And then a person goes online and says, "I'm going to you know contribute ten juice boxes and twenty and then that becomes tracked online as well. And I just use the food as an example. It could be anything, clothes, you know. So I'm thinking about um, pro bono, right? So w where would that be tracked? Does that fall in the volunteerism, or does that fall in in-kind? Yeah, the, the pro bono would probably, I think it's in the volunteerism okay. piece of it. Okay. Because uh, different organizations track it differently, I, so I'm, that's good to know. Right. Thank you. Yeah, can I just pile on, on that for a second? And not, not to intrude on the panel, but the, the beauty of this, from our perspective of being able to market it to employers, is employers are looking for 
fully integrated technology solutions that allow them to do employee that allow them to do employee engagement, employee giving, track the volunteer hours, track pro bono time, grants management. They're looking for the whole nine yards. So not being in the technology business, we partnered with Causecast because the platform is going to allow us to do all those things. So that makes us stickier with the company. But at the end of the day, the company drives which parts of the platform it will utilize and how it will use it. Our job will be over time to understand the nuances of that and then be able to engage you guys in how you can leverage our connection to those companies through the platform, if that makes sense. I've been meeting with uh, companies, and I'm trying to get them to have a full relationship with um, our organization, which is Capital Caring. Um, and what I find when I talk to them is that they have some systems in place, so they'll have, you know, they're tracking maybe um, their giving to us. They have something else for workplace giving. And, and But then uh, my question is, do you... Do you, uh, does this platform allow you to interact with some of those existing um, processes and systems that they have in place, or is this something that has to be introduced uh, in its entirety? Can you, does well, it? I'll let, let, I, I could answer that, but we got a panel up here. I can answer. Okay. So, so did that I question that make sense? I think that might depend on what systems are in, par are in place. I mean, that's probably going to be a case-by-case -case basis. But something, since this is a technology company that we're working with, that it, nothing's really out of the realm. Yeah, but it, once it's case by case. It, it really depends. I mean, it, it is a, um, it's, it's more of a um, standalone platform. And if a company is using a different workplace giving employee engagement platform, they're not going to talk to each other. It's you pick one or the other. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's because it's, you know, it's, it's, you have two competitors, right, providing the same product. They're not going to design their platforms to try to um, speak with one another, if you will. Uh, and so, but if there are other aspects um, or platforms for different purposes, that's mm -hmm. a different story. And so, for instance, uh, with CauseCast, um, their approach is to be uh, as broad as possible and to accomplish that, rather than trying to build everything themselves, is to partner with leaders in the space. Mm -hmm. So for example, while they have a volunteer module as part of their platform, they're partnering with Volunteer Match as a way to feed mm -hmm. volunteer opportunities right into the platform. So if you're already participating with Volunteer Match or posting your volunteer opportunities on Volunteer Match, they're going into um, the platform into the CauseCast platform for companies that elect to have those volunteer opportunities presented to their employees. So it does depend on upon what application, what purpose, yeah. uh, and what's there. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you. Any other questions? Oh, yeah. Um, so just, uh, again, very interested in this um, crowdfunding aspect um, that CauseCast is offering. Um, so say we're running a campaign and we have a couple corporate partners that we'd like to get involved. Um, how, you know, how, what's the turnaround time on getting, like, getting somebody new set up? Uh, on the CauseCast platform? Yeah. Eight to ten weeks. Okay. And that would be with, you know, in a new client and uh, going from beginning to end to launch time. Okay. Thank you. I might have missed this, but what is the time frame for this? When is it going to be? It's here now. It's available. totally, it's available yeah. now. It's been deployed already. And Where did, how did I miss that? Okay. We, uh, just for a little, bit of, a little bit of a background, yeah. we, <clears throat> we initiated um, uh, a memorandum of understanding with CauseCast last summer. Uh, and it simply, that MOU was designed to allow us to test working together. And if it, is this something that we really feel it's going to add value to our memberships and for them, are we going to be able to add value to them? And we found that, you know, we did indeed click um, and can work extremely well together um, and went into a full-blown partnership at the beginning of this year. Okay. So the purpose of it, 
communication that I've gotten from you guys about uh, getting information and different, um, I'm not sure exactly how, what to call it, that's probably because we're beefing this up. Is that what that's about? The communication I believe you received was from Emily, and it was regarding p placing you in the ready-made campaigns, um, yeah. such as Earth Day and Bike to Work Day, which will be in the campaign library. That's yes. part of the America's Charities Powered by CauseCast platform. Right. So one of the things that, that we do is we do, and Roseanne and Robin did mention this, is we design these prepackaged campaigns um, that can be plucked over the course of a year. So Earth Day or Veterans Day or whatever day you want to pick. Um, we can design a campaign around that. And when we design the campaigns, guess who we feature? It's our members. Uh, and then those campaigns go on the platform so that any company that's using CauseCast, whether it be an America's Charities client or a CauseCast client, has access to that campaign that's ready-made. All they have to do is just click a button and then make it available to their employees, uh, and then they run it for a defined period of time. So that's, that's what the, that request was for. Um, so do I understand correctly that CauseCast... I think I see checks coming in sometimes from CauseCast that aren't America's Charities checks, Correct. and that can be kind of confusing. Can you speak at all to that? I'm, I guess, you know, CauseCast seems to be bursting on the scene, and so we're yeah. going to have to learn more about it. <laughs> it sounds like we're, there's going to be some benefits to it, but it has been a little confusing because there's other donor management companies like them, and right. suddenly there's so many, and we're a small organization, and we have to understand the whole landscape all at once. But, um, so, yeah. Yeah, I can address that for you. So there is, um, and you're, you're right, and, and hopefully all of you are getting lots of checks from America's Charities and CauseCast and Benevity and Your Cause and Utopia and everybody else that's out there. Um, the, the, the vendor companies, including um, CauseCast, though we are having more discussions with them about um, having the dollars um, that companies or employees are contributing flow through us, or essentially being their funds distributor, um, the, uh, we're not there yet. And so what happens is when a company that is a CauseCast client, um, not an America's Charities client, but CauseCast client, makes a donation through the CauseCast platform. It's being processed through their CauseCast foundation who is then providing the check to you. Uh, the same thing happens for other technology vendors. Um, when it's done for our clients, it's coming through us. We're a 501c3, and so we're able to handle all that funds management and funds distribution. So we are very sensitive to the fact that, particularly for, smaller, uh, for our smaller members, uh, having checks coming in from different places gets a little a little much in, in trying to track everything and record everything, we are working with um, all, of the, all of the vendors to at least provide us the data for our membership so we can provide you a consolidated report. Uh, we're not there yet, but we're getting more and more um, of that. And um, as our partnership with CauseCast you know, grows, um, you know, we're searching for an opportunity to help simplify that a little bit more for you by having uh, to essentially being their funds manager, if you will, and having uh, the distributions be managed by us, particularly for our members. So that we're having ongoing discussions about that. Yeah, but there isn't, there isn't a direct uh, good answer to that yet. The, there is, however, a lot of discussion among the vendors and among the, the federations about how to make that better. And we're seeing more sharing of the information from the for-profit vendors to us, so we can like, just to at least give you some consolidated information. It's not perfect yet, but it, it will get better. And as we bring on more employers on the cost pass platform, you know, we'll begin to grow that piece of business and you know, hopefully give you increasingly better data. It's not perfect yet. Too many players in the marketplace. You know, wish it were. Hi. <laughs> it's me again. Um, I was just curious. Will you be moving your existing private sector campaigns like American Express, will you be moving these to CauseCast or keeping them on their current platform? So there are, um, we have uh, different types of private sector clients. And so we have um, some of our clients like Lockheed Barton, Arrow, Susan is here. Oh, um, she, she left. Yeah, she left. Uh, well, so we have, so like Lockheed and um, so other, other companies mm -hmm. that are on our current Pledge pl First platform, we are transitioning them over onto the CauseCast platform. Um, ideally, um, 
all this year, um, but most definitely by next year with most actually being transitioned this year. Our other clients like American Express, um, ExxonMobil, and others use their own technology or their own process, and so we're not providing that front-end technology for them. We're simply managing the distributions for them. Uh, and so they are not moving on to Coscast, although we'd love to have conversations with them about that. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, we'll be able to, the team here will be available for more questions um, after um, the formal session is complete. But we wanted to make sure that we also provided uh, an opportunity for Lindsay Nichols and Sarah Ford from our Marketing and Communications Department to give you some more information about all the great things that, uh, that they're doing uh, on your behalf. So, Lindsay and Sarah. <coughs> Thank you. We're going to use handheld mics because it's too complicated to do wireless mics, so bear with us. Um, I have a quick question. I'm Lindsay Nichols. I'm fairly new, and I was wondering how many of you are fairly new? Which, how many of you is this your first member assembly? Oh my gosh. Well, great. So we're all doing this together. I've been here about 10 months and um, I really, we want to use today to really explain the full arc of what we do for you as members. So we hope that when you walk away, you get a better understanding of all of that. You can tell we talked about the public sector, the private sector, and now Sarah and I, who are in marketing communications, really want to talk about your visibility and other avenues that we use for you or we try to leverage for you. Um, you know, part of what we do, oh, there's a screen right there. That's very valuable. <laughs> part of what we do is we try to find really useful organizations out there and partner with them so that you get a discount. And here are two examples of such partnerships. So NCR, is Ron Barrett in the room? Okay, <laughs> he's right here. So he's with National Corporate Research, one of our newest partnerships, I think as of last week or the week before. Um, all of us have to do state charitable registrations every single year. We all know how exciting and fun and thrilling that is. And uh, NCR is the leader in doing this. They provide that service and many others like that, all having to do with um, uh, registrations and, and uh, taxing and all that good stuff. So as a part of your membership, you get a discount on that services. So on the flash drive that's in front of you, there is not only a document with all of the services they provide, but there's also a press release that bullets out what the specific discounts are for each service. So just a benefit for you, if you're interested, um, there's a website that's listed on these documents. Just go there, let us know you're interested, and we'll pass on the information, and, and you can go ahead and get that discount. So that's one. The, another one that we partnered with uh, later last year was Verified Volunteers. So those of us who are dealing with lots and lots of volunteers, or even a few, usually need to vet them. And this is a, a group that vets those uh, volunteers, and again, one of the, the leader in it. Um, you get a discount off that service, and you also get free volunteer management solutions as a result. So we're constantly trying to find really useful groups that we all think that you work with or need to work with or want to work with and actually get you a discount as part of being a member. We know we're really proud of being your workplace partner, and we know that you have choices, so we are really trying to maximize every benefit we can for you. This is uh, We're just going to try to get into a couple <laughs> right now. Um, I wanted to point out our amazing exhibitors out there, but um, specifically, uh, MultiView is uh, a multimedia distribution service. So they create PSAs, uh, video news releases. They're very multimedia focused. I worked at PR agencies for more than a decade, and I worked with them in almost every client for nonprofits that I have. Some of you, I think, are there already their clients in this room. So. Um, go see them. They are fabulous, and we really recommend them. And same for the Washington Post. We advertise with them each year. We're going to talk about that in just a minute. Um, if you have the budget, 
to actually create an entire advertising campaign with them. They are, hands down, the best advertiser in our area, certainly in the digital space. So go see them. They're fantastic, and again, they're out there for you. And because of our partnership, um, you can get discounts. You can get all kinds of things that you normally wouldn't. So again, recommending them. Um, and that's a good segue into our advertising packages. Thank you, Lindsay. Um, I'm Sarah Ford, marketing manager. Um, many of you email back and forth to me all the time, so it's <laughs> nice to finally see you face to face. <laughs> I prefer it that way. Um, we'll start off with the fall advertising packages, but we'll get into some other ways that we can help you leverage your membership with us and how we can help you tell your story to these employee donors. Um, every year we hold what we call the fall advertising campaign for our members, and the point of this campaign is we know that you know, money's tight, and so not all of you guys can afford to go out there and get a Washington Post cover wrap on your own. So what we do is we go out and buy uh, media in bulk, and so not just the Washington Post, but we, we, we like to diversify, especially now with the digital age, you know, actually in our past now. <laughs> so we have these these media that we purchase in bulk, and then we bundle it into packages that are more affordably set for each of you in mind. Uh, so... I won't go into it too much. Uh, we do have early bird pricing, a 10% discount for those who sign up by May 27th, which is coming up. So you will hear from me in the coming weeks multiple times about this. So <laughs> keep an eye out for that in your inbox. Um, we've our, our ad packages have always been focused on um, the active duty military and federal employees, mainly in Washington, D.C. metro area, um, mainly because the CFC uh, in D.C. is one of the largest and, and most profitable in the world. Um, this year, we're really excited to expand upon that and brought in our reach and advertising to overseas. Uh, we're going to go through uh, multiple channels on that to get you the, the active duty employees and their families in Germany, Italy, England, Guam, uh, places that you, you probably don't even think to hit up. You know, I, I honestly wouldn't know which of those to hit up. So uh, we, we're working through a partner whose specialty is in this kind of media reach. And so we've, we've bundled all this together, and uh, we're, we're bringing really great value to you at discounted prices to help you get your word out, share your impact. Uh, I can talk to you after this in much more detail. <laughs> I, I could geek out, like Roseanne says, on advertising probably. Um, the, the advertising packages are loaded on those thumb drives, so you each have a copy of those. Uh, so next slide. All right, so I want to point out next our member resource portal, because as a lot of you raised your hands, you're, a lot of you are new. And, uh, you know, one of the most challenging things for me marketing at America's Charities is to make sure I'm reaching the correct person at your organization, because we want to make sure, Debbie, that you guys know what's going on about our new partnerships and opportunities. Um, so whether we get you via email or not, you can always go to the member resource portal. Uh, it's in the footer. Uh, there's a link on every single page of our website. There's a, a link. You click on that, and every member has login access to it. And via that portal, we have news where we share the most recent information going on. We have a resources section. So anything we think would benefit you, uh, information about advertising and the impact, uh, logos, <laughs> anything you can think of, we're going to put there. It's also a place you can go to click uh, to access your reports, uh, the membership application, um, and things like this next member toolkit is something we developed last year. Uh, we wanted to do a better job at preparing you guys for, uh, you know, we, we can share your information on your behalf to employee donors, but honestly, it goes back to your website and your communications. What are you sharing? Are you sharing anything about workplace giving? Because, you know, I hate to say it, but not everyone knows they can give at work. Yeah, <laughs> and, right. and so we need to... Through this member okay. toolkit, we're trying to give you all the resources and templates and information you need to go out there and do your own work as far as making sure on your website do you have information about workplace giving. We give you templates that you can literally just copy and paste and customize from there because we want to make it easy for you. We know you have plenty more on your plates to do. So <laughs> uh, that's, that's part of what we're doing. So this member toolkit is on your flash drive as well. Uh, it also has a really good diagram in there of the pledge distribution process for private sector to give you. It's a very complicated process. It's very confusing. Um, so it's a diagram to show you kind of how spread out between two years really between when an employee decides to give to you and then when we get the money and when we distribute it 
it, it, it's a nice diagram to show you kind of how that all works. So definitely take a look at that and read through it. It's a big toolkit, but all very valuable, helpful information. Uh, webinars, toolkits, uh, these are more information. Now, this, this website URL is a little different, charities.org slash resources. Really, we're, we're trying to make sure that no matter where you go, you'll find this information. So it's on the member, um, the member portal that I just showed you, but we also have a resources page on our website. Um, we actually recently added the resources section. We've been developing a lot of content lately, lately and had nowhere to house it, so we developed a resource section. So any webinars that we put out there, toolkits, we're putting on this resources page. So you can always go to that link on our website. Uh, our, our webinars, for we've started that brand new this year. Mm -hmm. Lindsay has really been pushing it. <laughs> and, and the point of those is to connect guys with value, like who, do you, who you want to hear from, what topics do you want to know more about. That's the purpose of the webinars. So uh, we share that information uh, through email with you guys. And anytime you have a topic that you want us to bring to your attention and help you understand better, you know, just email us, let us know. And, and we'll work our way and around that. You'll participate on one as well. Um, we did one on donor cultivation. That's the toolkit you see. We not only have this free webinar, we make it available to our members. You get first access to it. But then we do a toolkit after to kind of recap everything that's there. We actually featured a member on it because we know that probably one of the best values of a meeting like this is where you all get to connect with each other and say, here's what I've learned, here's what I do better. So we're really trying to do that in a virtual sense through the webinar. So to Sarah's point, if you want to see or hear a webinar on something, we'd love that feedback. And then if you're willing to participate on a webinar, we'd love to hear that as well. And, and, and one more thing. I mean, we have the portal as a, a means of communicating to you all this information, but we also have a couple newsletters that we have. We have a, mem a member newsletter, and we use that to share information that is only for our members. Uh, and pretty much how we come up with that list is whoever from your organization has been named the primary representative to represent your team to our team, that's who we're communicating to, which is important to know because, again, I want to make sure we're reaching the appropriate person at your organization. So, you know, we can always add to that list. It doesn't have to be your primary. It could be your marketing contact who you want to receive all this information. So I want to distinguish that from our other newsletter, which is our CSR newsletter, and that is for the public. And I encourage, we do not automatically sign you up for that because I do not want to just send emails <laughs> that you don't want. To. <laughs> but I do encourage you to sign up because it, through this newsletter, we try to keep you updated on the latest in the industry, like all those links that Steve shared earlier, blog posts from other experts in the industry, uh, anything that will help you and the employers really you know, maximize giving and, and, and do what we're all here to do. That's the point of that newsletter. So you can sign up for that on any page of our website. Uh, on the sidebar, you'll see sign up for a newsletter. But that's the distinguishment between those two newsletters I wanted to share. Was there a question? Okay. Um, sharing your story. This is the most important part of this today. Roseanne showed you through our new platform, there are so many new ways for us to share your story. Uh, if I could take a video of all of you speaking the way Mark Burgell spoke earlier, I would. Yeah. <laughs> and I would just shoot it out there to everyone I could. <laughs> um, that would be awesome. But I can't do that. So we're going to try everything else we can to get your story out there and share your impact and your story with these employee donors. And, and one thing that we did starting with um, last year's membership application, uh, we added a marketing section to it. It's not required, but... Again, I highly encourage you to use it. Uh, and bullet pointed here on the screen are the items that we ask for on the application. And by asking for on the application, we're trying to streamline the process a bit rather than have me reach out to you after you've already shared information with the Emily and the other team. You know, I, I want to make sure that we're just getting it all at once, not bothering you too much. <laughs> uh, so we can use your time well and, and, and make sure we collect all this information and share it. Now, dollar by statements, um, pretty much what those are is if an employee donor gives you $50, what's going to happen? What, what kind of thing could you do with $50? It doesn't have to be like we're going to use your $50 exactly this way. It's just to give them a general idea of what, how much the donation can make because they may think, oh, I'll give $50 to you, but if you share an impact statement that says, well, with 150 I can do this, they might give more to you knowing that. So it's very important information to share. Um, we... Videos, photos, infographics, success stories. 
Uh, we, we share all of this with the, our clients, but also our partners. Um, state and local campaigns every year ask for this information, and we use what we have and share it with them. So if you're not sharing it with us, we're not able to share it with them. And so I, I think sometimes it can be a little overwhelming when we're asking you for all this information and you have no idea how we're using it. Uh, but we are using it, and we are sharing it with employers. And kind of going to Mark's comment earlier, it's a ripple effect. You know, we share it, and then it, it, it makes an impact on some employee donor out there, and they share it, and that's how you grow the giving. Um, I added cause months and events because of CauseCast, as we showed. We have this new avenue of raising money for you. We can go in and create these campaigns that companies, because one click, can adopt and push out to their employees. So, I mean, there's cause months up the wazoo out there. I mean, I... <laughs> there's pirate and, months. And I feel like they're all in October, yeah. but <laughs> which is a good month. But, I, I, I mean, if even if it's not a cause month, it's just a special event you have going on that happens each year, we want to be creative and use these campaigns as a way to... Uh, a raise awareness about your cause. Uh, you know, it may be collectively. It may not just be about your one organization. It may be a handful of our organizations in the room. But it, it's one way to, you know, get you above the other charities out there and, and get the word out about what you're doing and raise money for you. Uh, last but not least, interest in being featured in a blog. Um, several of you have heard from me in the last couple weeks, and I think we've booked the rest of the year with blog posts, but we can always use more. I, I mean, I, I'm not going to say no to featuring in a blog post. So um, if you have something that you want featured, just reach out to me and we can work with you on that. Uh, the screenshot below is just kind of uh, there, that marketing tab in the member application. <laughs> member application season is coming up. And so when you do it, please, you know, fill out as much as you can and share that with us and then we'll help you. And I was just going to make a statement. That's a lot of things. We're happy to help you craft whatever. Uh, we'll take whatever content and data you have, and we'll help you make it better. If you'd like us to, we'll use exactly what you have if you'd like us to. The important part is we are an extension of your brand and your marketing department. So anything we can do to amplify your story, we're going to do that. So give us what you've got, and we'll go everywhere, <laughs> everywhere we can. Are there any questions? Um, if there's one thing you're going to walk away with, it's the member toolkit and sharing the story. So on that flash drive, there's a lot of great content. I encourage you to look at it and then get in touch with us, uh, with us anytime because we would love to help. Yeah, actually, you say that. Um, on the toolkit, there's another toolkit. We On the flash drive, there's another toolkit we load called the Donor Cultivation Toolkit. And that one... That was born out of the result of a webinar we had, and we had a lot of questions on a webinar about how to communicate to federal donors. And we didn't get to get into it too much on that webinar, but it was a, a very important question we wanted to address, and so that's how we, why we created that toolkit. So look at that, because you know we know that it's tough to communicate to federal donors especially, but it gives kind of tips and guidance on that process, what's involved, and Breaking what we advise. Yeah. You know. Thank you. Thank you very much.